word collection. My whole word collection. Collection. Yeah. Part two, 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 two. This is obese and C's. Baba Duke. It's a terrifying experience. Not watched it. I've seen some clips. It terrifies me. A nerve feeling psychological thriller. Brace yourself. If it's in a word or if it's in a look, you can't get rid of the Babadook. From director Jennifer Kent, the Babadook is a film about a kid and his mother, and they start to have this book called the Babadook. Babadook. And that just doesn't end well for them. What's that? Just something on my screen. Something on my screen. There you go, you're done. It's all done. Oh god. <laughs> Once we get back to the Balco experiment. Office space Office space meets Battle Royale. We got this clip. Good. The Balco experiment. It is horrifying and graphic. These people are stuck in an office building while this person commands them to kill more people. Everything's the same than what I just showed you. It's rated R some reason. Four, strong body violence, fraud language, including sexual references and some drug use. Drug use? I don't remember drug use. Who cares? The movie's great. Next is um, my dad's personal favorite. And I can't wait to watch it someday. Scary as hell. Sorry, and really frightening. One of the creepiest films since The Exorcist. Shows you right down the core. Thumbs up. For rid of Indus and Ingus. And The Exorcist was made in 1973. This was 99. Also known as The Blair Witch Project. Ah, it's creepy. In October of 1994, three students film, three students disappeared in the woods near Brooksville, Maryland. Was shooting a documentary a year later. Of their footage was found. And it is scary footage. And in this one is Book of Shadows, Blair Witch 2. By the way, really creepy looking. I don't know for sure, but. They say that they love the movie Blair Witch and they wanted to see if it's real, so they go in the same forest where they filmed it and bad stuff starts happening to them. Blair Witch? I have no clue what that one's about. I don't know. It's another movie called Blair Witch, and I'm pretty sure there's something evil hiding in the woods. Blair Witch. Now, the back is the exact same, I'm pretty sure. I can say it's the exact same. No, but. This is the back of the undercover, and this is the back of the not undercover. Truly terrifying climax experience. Blair Witch is a thrill ride that is terrifying as no monster. Blue Ray Digital Copy. I have a we have a lot of horror films in this house. The next one is kind of different. You might not know it, but The next one's the Boogeyman. I've not seen it. I've heard it's not too, too good, but it's pretty good. Boogeyman. Cool. And now look at that. Look at that. Well, does he exist? I'll say he exists. The Boogeyman is Michael Myers. And if you don't know who he is, we'll get to him in the H part of things. Yeah. You have an H. Every child needs to feel loved. And that's true. You look at the boy. It says Blu ray digital copy. There we go. I just wanted to check out. That's one of those cool um, open sauce. It's really cool. I like those. That's pretty cool. The next one is C's. And I've watched this movie 
oh boy, it terrified me as a kid. But now that I'm still a kid, and I've watched it when I'm older, I am more wise to think that this movie is cool. And that is Candyman movie. Candyman. An urban legend that will kill you if you say his name five times in the mirror. Creepy. The back is so creepy. I pit. I pee my pants. The the, cut, the post. It has a good use of bees and hooks. From the chilling imagination of Clive Barker. Clive Barker wrote in the Hellbound Heart in his Scream adaptation, Hellraiser. I love that movie. We don't have it. Sadly, I've seen it because I've watched it on YouTube. Next one is a big box set, so get ready. What has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven technically movies, but this is only six in this one box set? Who has the amazing Chucky collection of all of the first six? Which is including part of Child's Play, Child's Play 2, Child's Play 3, Brian of Chucky, Seed of Chucky, and Curse of Chucky. Here's the back. Let's say hello. And then this is this. Boom. Boom. Oh, this is from later movies when he has stitches. This is probably from Curse. Or one of the others, but. Then, you have this. Better box it than an alien. So there's the Child's Play 1. Child's Play 1. 2. The discs are not covered, but. And then there's 3. Bride, Seed, and Curse. I need to see. I've seen part 1 and 2. I need to see 3, Bride, Seed, and Curse. Sadly, I really want to see them. The franchise is more of a comedic movie. They're, well, after part three, it kind of gets a little comedic. But still has its dark humor. Why does that make it look creepier? Oh. Do you like Kota Chucky? Well, it's one, well, Chucky's a killer um, who transfers his soul into a doll. That's the Chucky franchise. And then they made Cult of Chucky. You see this for a minute? I just want to show you something. You see that moving? Do you like it? It moves sometimes for me. I don't know. It's, do you see that moving there? Wow. Well, anyway, the back is pretty cool. There's multiple Chucky's in this one. He transfers his soul into multiple dolls. Same on both sides here. Boom, boom. Call the Chucky. It says, You may feel a little prick. What does that mean? Oh, you may feel a little prick because he's going to stab you. Probably a tranquilizer. I don't want to get stabbed by a tranquilizer tonight. The next one is a movie that needs no information. I have not even heard of it. Well, I've heard of it, but I don't know what it's about. A Clockwork. Stan Kubrick's A Clockwork Orange. Stomping, whopping, stealing, singing, top dancing, violence, servly topped, hurling Alex. Malcolm McDowell has a good time at a tra the tragic experience of others. He's drawn from. Wow. He's violent. Well, anyway, there's he. There's he again. Wow. <sighs> Another of my dad's favorites, The Conjuring. I was looking here besides her sweet drink. Oh, clans. Hands clap. Everybody clap your hands. Look at that back. That's that's Ender Lane Lauren, who who go to this good examining house for death. Based on true cases, fires of the Warrens. From director of Saw and Insidious. Saw and Insidious. We'll get to later. Here we are. Here we are. Something. I've watched some of it. I've seen oh, all these, um, the first two Chucky's, Candyman, Volko Experiment, Curse of 
creep show and, and a little bit of the crazies remake and if wondering what else are coming up there pretty soon the conjuring is pretty creepy um it's kind of based on our true stories well ed and ryan and lauren were real people who discovered ghosts so the conjuring too still that's pretty good we'll the conjuring insidious this has the nun in it. I have the nun movie, but that's all I'm gonna say about that. I'm not heard of anything else. Well, those are some video tapes I had. Oh, it's only ten. Oh, good. Cat crazies. I thought this was a pretty cool movie. Look at this. A normal girl in a normal town turns into destruction. This virus goes around or some kind of gas and makes people want to kill other people and they just go insane. If you want to see it in a better version, there you go. The back is not the same at all. Let's help us. Help me. This movie's creepy. From the creator of Dawn of the Dead. Instant Infectious. Wait! Jordi Romero directed the remake too? I thought he only made the original. Oh, unless you're talking about the remake, Dawn of the Dead. Because in the original, Jordi Romero directed it. In this, he doesn't direct it, I don't think. He's on the director's chair. After Creep Show and Cube, we're back to the Bob Duke, so that way we can restart. So, Creep Show is funny. It comes with, it's an anthology. And I'll, I don't know how to say it, but the best friend you ever have been scared. It has many stories. Five for the future. There's Father's Day, where a girl kills her father because he's so annoying. I can be relatable. And, and then, boom. His, her father comes back every Father's Day, wants a cake made of human skin. And then there's my favorite, one of my favorites, um, sand pits. Sand pits. A guy gets cheats on this guy's wife, and then like, I don't know, like we get buried in the sand, and then the rest is history. Bug, the bugs. A guy get, hates bugs, and the bugs start appearing everywhere. And then there's the great. Really creepy. This is a crate that has this little monster inside, and then there's the one with the um the weird flower tentacles growing all over this guy. He's like, ah, oh, oh my god, help me! And he's, he doesn't want to go to the doctor. He's afraid. Oh, it sucks! It's so big. <laughs> Cube, I've not seen, but I know that all I know. Is they're stuck in this huge, this huge cube. Ooh, the guy you see there. Yeah, I know his face and his entire. I'm pretty sure his entire body. Um, gets like split apart into millions of circles. That dude. Do you see his face? How kind of, kind of resembles like the skirts. So don't look for a reason. Look for. Don't look for a reason. Look for a way out. One cube, two morning shoes, nightmare challenge, prime, time, complex, answers, blunder, confidence, advance, quiet, anger, swimming, hour, down, square one, parameters, factors, just play our next movie, escape, and credits. Okay. Bye bye, everybody.